What's up, home team? This is the Data Lord. Today is January 5th, 2019, and we have some pretty exciting news in the GPU space. Uh, not just that Ethereum is moving to ProgPal, because that's huge now. ASICs are going to be fighting over block rewards for just ASICs. FPGAs will be fighting over block rewards for uh their relative hash rates and GPUs will only be fighting uh, other GPUs for that slice of the pie. So that's exciting. Uh, we also have three Ethereum hard forks coming up. Uh, but those things aside, uh, we have a new coin called Beam and it's on the Mimble Wimble algorithm, uh, which is made to be ASIC resistant. I want to personally thank Voscoin for bringing this to the community's attention. Uh, he's really been doing great work for a long time and, and he's been committed to this whole mining space. So uh, we, we appreciate people like him who, who've who been committed uh, in good times and in the, the bad times and, you know, bear market crypto winners. So Vosk did a very, very good walk through an explanation of what Beam can do and, and how to mine Beam on NVIDIA. Uh, there is a totally separate CUDA miner for NVIDIA mining. And my hardware right now is predominantly AMD. So I thought I'd go through and teach everyone who has an AMD set up how to get mining with Beam on Mimble Wimble uh, as soon as possible. So first thing I, I, I want us to uh, take a look at is the links in the description. Um, if we look at this GitHub right here, uh, if you notice two weeks ago, that's where a lot of these commits are. So this is a really, really young project. Um, it's a cool project though, and, and the project seems to be um, way ahead of where most projects are by the time that they launch on mainnet. So uh, I think this is uh, promising for that fact, and I think it's exciting that um, we already have a, a pretty solid wallet and miner. So, uh, Let's go over here and, and get the files we need. First off, we will need a wallet installed. So on this uh, beam.mw slash downloads, uh, I'm on Windows, so I'm downloading this beam wallet right here. Uh, it includes a CPU miner. We're not gonna mine using the wallet. Uh, I think it's it's best to kind of isolate these things but it's it's certainly cool that they're trying to bake it in i did test out this beta it kept crashing on me uh it is cool that it, it gave you the option to do gpu mining within the you know wallet and i think that those sorts of integrations are going to be huge for coins moving forward i think it's going to become a standard so i, I think it's impressive that they've already uh, began working on that, but the beta crashed on me. It, you know, I was just trying to copy my wallet address and it was crashing on me just doing that. So, uh, go ahead and download the, um, main one here. And so I have it downloaded right here. So let's go ahead and run it. And yes, and I'm, Reading all of this at Super Saiyan speeds. And I'm installing it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and run that Beam wallet to get our address here. We're going to. You know, this is going to be the example. I, I'm obviously running this on a VM, uh, so sorry, there won't be any money on this wallet. Uh, but uh, 
go ahead and click generate seed phrases and you're going to follow these instructions. You're actually going to write these down. Um, once you've written these down, um, you can click next. So, uh, you know, uh, glad is number four on that list. Um, if you look right here, uh, it, it's conveniently not having us type every single one in, which is nice. Uh, 11 is battle, 12 is donor, 7 is rabbit, 9 is now, and 1 is position. And I spelled donor wrong because it's 3 in the morning. Uh, and then just go ahead and set a password. Um, and connect to a random remote node is not a bad idea. and proceed to wallet. Okay. So spark pool is the only pool I've found so far for beam being it's so young. It says that there's a Trojan attack that stores itself in this app data folder. Um, so it just strongly encourages us that we do, you know, delete the beam wallet folder here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. You might as well do it yourself. I mean, you, you don't, it, it's better to be safe than sorry and, and later find out, you know, your wallet got compromised or something. Uh, that sucks. So I'm sure someone has a good reason for... specifically saying you should do this. So this whole folder here, this beam folder needs to be deleted. Now app data is a, it is a hidden folder. So you can just click up here, just manually type it. But uh, you know, everything in here needs to be deleted. So um, we have our seeds backed up so it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um, so we'll go ahead and delete that. Yeah. And it gives you what to type in on a Mac and what to type in on a Linux server. So that's great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close Beam and we're going to relaunch it. All right, so we reloaded the Beam wallet. We entered our password. We need to set the address expiration date to never expire. Uh, I imagine that could, that could be pretty annoying if, uh, if that's not set right. So, click on receive Click on expire, change it to never. And this address here, we're gonna copy it. And we're gonna open up Notepad. And let's just go ahead and store that. All right, so that's our wallet address. Now that we have this wallet installed, um, 
second thing we're going to do is get a node set up. And I, I think it's important if you're ever mining a coin to set up a node on that network as well. Uh, I think it's just respectful to the network to be additionally running a node. Um, just to kind of help speed up their network. So we're going to export this, uh, extract it rather, to a folder. I, I personally recommend people on their C drive um, make a folder called miners. And that way you can exclude that folder from antivirus software checks because a lot of mining applications get flagged incorrectly as malware. So uh, inside of that miners folder, I'm going to make something called beam node or just beam. And inside of beam, I'm also going to make one called node. And that's where it's going to go. And we'll put the beam miner in that uh, C miners beam. Uh, we'll put it in that folder there. All right, so now let's go ahead and run our node. Again, that's in C miners beam node. And this is just going to keep a whole copy of that blockchain uh, to help with their uh, network. I mean, you, you have miners, you have nodes, and uh, they're both important. All right, there's nothing more we got to do with that. We'll just let that cook. It's going to download the blockchain. Um, so we have our wallet, we have our node. Now we need our, our mining software. So if you go over to that um, beam.mw, yeah, beam.mw. So if you go here, we do have this um, minor CUDA, and that's what you do if you have NVIDIA, but this tutorial is going over the OpenCL, uh, which is AMD, so Go ahead and click on, uh, for Windows in this case, click on OpenCL Miner 1.0.52 and download that. And I've already downloaded it before this because I just didn't know how long it'd take and didn't want to have to edit dead air. Um, so we'll go ahead and open up that zip file. Now, uh, I do want to mention that this mining application is based on Equihash. Um, so we are dealing with souls again, you know, solution instead of a hash uh, like you're used to seeing with a lot of algorithms. So everything in this open seal miner folder, we're actually going to extract them and we're going to extract them to that C miners beam folder miners beam okay and um go ahead and extract them right there right so now that those are exported um we need to make our batch script so this can actually mine and over here um, on GitHub for uh, beam mw slash opencl dash minor. We have kind of a readme. It gives us some instructions for the syntax that our batch file needs to have. So we're going to check that out. And that's why we saved our, our wallet deposit address um, earlier. We're going to be using that uh, as, as part of our batch script. So over here on this open CL miner page, um, if you scroll down, 
you can see how they configure this if you're going to do something beyond what I'm recommending here. Um, but they'll update all of the syntax and commands that you can give. So it wants us to, you know, reference the reference the mining program in the folder that we're in, give a server, and then uh, list the server for the pool that we're on, list the port for the pool that we're on, uh, do key, and then that's gonna be our wallet address. And then we can actually specify which devices we wanna do this on. So, I have already tested this and, you know, have a, a different script to copy and paste in. But uh, since we know this here is our uh, wallet address, we're just going to paste in what we have. Okay, uh, now we do want to make sure that we name this correctly. So I'm going to just verify and make sure that it is beam miner, that that's the actual name of the file. Okay, so it's not. It's beam dash opencl dash miner, and that's fine. We're just going to uh, rename this. And we're just going to rename it Beam Miner. All right, just like that. So for our server address, we need to get that from our pool. So we can see right here that it tells us uh, our server is going to be beam.sparkpool.com colon 2222, which that's our port and then dash dash key. So for our server, we're gonna have it be beam dash eu dot spark pool dot com colon do two do two. That's the port. And I know that's a European server. That's the closest server they have to uh, the United States. And they do have some other uh, servers as well, pick the one that's closest to you. Now we have our, our wallet address here. So we're going to cut that wallet address and where it says dash dash key, we're going to do dash dash key space and then our wallet address. And again, if you don't remember, uh, we got our wallet address from clicking receive and then making sure this never expires. Uh, comment, uh, we'll call this um, mining wallet. Okay, and then for devices, uh, if you want to see a list of all the devices, uh, it says on the GitHub for OpenCL Miner for devices, it says uh, selects the device to mine on. If not specified, the miner will run on all devices found on the system. For example, to mine on GPU zero and one and three, but not two, use dash dash devices space zero comma one comma three and to list all the devices that are present in the system and get their order start the miner with dash dash devices space dash two then all devices will be listed but none selected for mining the miner closes when no devices were selected for mining or all selected 
minor fail and compatibility check. So uh, we'll probably leave it blank so it'll just mine with everything. Uh, and if that doesn't work, then we'll do dash dash devices space zero. Um, so yeah, let's let's finish that. Let's do let's try having it clear and just seeing what it does. Uh, file save as. And go to that C miners beam folder. We have to change the save as type to all files. That way it doesn't add the dot text file extension. And we're going to type in beam miner dot bat. And save that. Uh, we're going to give it a test now. We'll see what happens. And, you know, I, I am running this on a VM. If, if this doesn't work, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll run it on my main machine and give you a screen capture of uh, what that looks like. But at this point, it, it should be working for you uh, just the same. And if not, it's likely a driver issue with your graphics cards. You may need to run uh, DDU, which is Display Driver Uninstaller, uh, reboot your computer, and then install the correct drivers fresh and give it a try, and it, it might work at that point. Otherwise, you have to fiddle with your devices, I would imagine. The uh, dash dash device uh, space zero comma one comma two you know that so yeah let's let's go ahead and give this beam minor bat a try it's in c minors beam okay so it, it's mad right now that we don't have devices set so that's fine uh we're gonna right click on it and edit it'll open it again and notepad and and we can add that dash dash devices So D devices uh, zero. Now, if you have more than one graphics card, if you have two, it would look like that. And if you have three, and if you have four, five. All right, sorry. You know, that'd be five, that'd be six. But I just have one, so. We'll save that. And if you're wondering why is this so much work, uh, it shouldn't be. Uh, but if it is, it's because you're early and there's not much content made uh, to teach people how to do this stuff. So, so I, I think it's, I think it's mad if you. Uh, just specifically specify the file and the batch files in the same folder as that file we're trying to run right here. It'll work. So, you know, this batch file's in the same place as this file here. So it's going to run this file with these instructions. Yeah, that worked. So this error right here is just saying that it's mad that, um, OpenSeal is not installed on this computer here. So I what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to run this on my main computer and just show you the the readout but everything I just showed you right there is is how I set it up on my on my main computer. All right. So this window here on the screen is 
what you get. So it's hashing away. Uh, I, I don't have this GPU uh, BIOS modded at the current moment, so uh, we're probably going to get crap um, hash rates. F from what I've seen, an RX 570 should get about 6 or 7 of these souls per second. Uh, as you can see, it's not overclocked at the moment either, so... Uh, We can try to crank it up a little bit. Let's try 1950. I'm not going to commit these until I, I close this mining application. Um, let's give it all the power that it wants. All right, so, so on average, we're getting between 2.2 and 2.9. Um, and I guess 3.2. So, so right, right in there, uh, mid 2. Point, like 2.5 up to 3 is what we're, we were getting. So uh, I'm going to overclock this now. Uh, we'll set it to 1950. Yeah, usually you can push these like just over 2,000. Yeah, so I'm gonna click right here. That'll apply that overclock. And I'm gonna run that batch file one more time. So 2.93, so it's off the bat. Oh, there we go. So we're getting four now. Yeah, I bet I just need to do the uh, Polaris one-click BIOS mod. Uh, I think this is Alpida memory. Okay, so yeah, we're we're getting we're getting better uh, hash rates now, but I, I still think we can do better. So uh, I'm going to modify my BIOS and re reboot my machine and, and try this one more time. And uh, I'll see you when I'm done with that whole process. All right, so I ran the Polaris one-click BIOS mod on my Asus Strix RX 570, and we're getting a solid seven see 6.07 7 7.13 7.40 7.0 um, right in there and, and that's what documentation I've seen said I should expect now this is with a core clock overclock to 1100 and a memory clock to 2000 so I'm I'm gonna close my batch file here, stop the miner, and I'll crank this up. I I, I remember it trips out at 2020, so I don't know. Try 2010. Okay. So that's what you can, you can expect to get with the RX 570, um, something around seven souls. Um, looks like it's pretty consistent. And if we look over here, uh, looks like, looks like the power draw is somewhere around 100 watts. All right, so it probably is running up about 150 watts. I mean, 
we have between these two about that. So I think it's 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 doing that now. I, I'm not going to spend the time to do the uh, tweaking of the overclocking. I just wanted to show uh, what these cards could really get mining beam and mind you there is a exchange um that there is an exchange the beam can be sold on uh i will pull that up in a second here all right so if you look on coingecko.com um, i don't think it shows on coin market cap but let's see and let's also check out coinpuffs.com. Yeah, it looks like it, it's it's just so early that only CoinGecko has it because randomly it does. <clears throat> so. It looks like the value it's currently around two to three dollars a coin, but who knows? It's just so early. Um, who's to really know? But uh, I, I haven't ever dealt with Hotbit before. I'm gonna make an account on there and see if I can't. You know, trade this beam for um, BTC or maybe Dogecoin. Um, and Hopbit over here um, as you can see they, they did list beam. It's in their their banner right here. And Oh, Doge, it's all right. They got the Bitcoin, so I'll do that. And uh, I'll make a video going over my experiences uh, trading some of the beam tokens I get, but uh, I hope this has been helpful and informative. Um, thanks for spending the time to uh, go over Beam with me. And I hope this works out well for a lot of people. I hope uh, you all make a lot of money and grow those BTC bags. So uh, this is the Data Lord. Thanks for sticking with me, everyone. Have a good day.